article this morning, 5 a.m., came out on Bloomberg. Mm. Thank you for the shameless plug. Well, it's one of the first things I read because everyone's interested in Bitcoin. All the viewers, uh, they're perking up right now. Bitcoin whales, that's the name of the article. Mm -hmm. 1,000 people, according to the author, own 40% of the Bitcoin market. That's, um, and there's no such thing as insider trading in that, so they can do whatever they want, they can band together to do anything, which means that the volatility could be in the future when you're over 15,000, having been at 1,000 just months ago, um, the volatility from these people potentially doing things that are not illegal to the price of the market, it's, it's obvious to anyone. But doesn't the then the arrival of a futures mm. contract help with that in a sense because it gives alternative opportunities for those that perhaps want to invest in Bitcoin but can do it via the futures. You get away from that kind of whale, at least as a direct investment, I guess yeah. you're still connected to the underlying. Yes, but the, and the but part of it for me, Julia, is, is that we really don't have a lot of people invested in or having bought this at this point. This is opening up more markets for more people, which is what happens when you get uh, a lot of money flowing to a certain area, and then people get excited, and it ends badly, okay? For the people coming in now, the, after the these... The late these, arrivals. Oh, it's... It, it's the, there's a wonderful book called Extra, Extraordinary Popular Delusions and the Badness of Crowds. It's one of the first books I ever read. It's all about bubbles, written by a guy named Charles Mackey in 1641, yes. the tulip bulb mania in Holland. So... <laughs> Before anyone buys Bitcoin, they should buy that book. Sounds very appropriate. Do you know anyone in your sphere who is looking to get in on Bitcoin action with the launch of these Bitcoin futures? Not to buy Bitcoin, but rather, uh, you know, as you know, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, all these companies are looking at it. So everyone has to look at it because of the phenomenon. Right. But far more it, behind the question, Scarlett, is the fact that blockchain technology, the stuff that is pushing this, is actually, I think, already in people's minds as ways of doing the financial system in the future. So that may well happen. This thing that went from 1 to 15 in a few months, that's separate and distinct from the technology that I think is going to be part of our lives in the next few decades or Thanks. sooner. You could overpay with each. Thanks for watching, guys. Follow my channel. Subscribe my channel. Thumbs up. I'll keep you posted about the Bitcoin and the news. Thank you for watching. Virus here.